Miura's Mouse, The History of Creator and Creation. During 2007, at the age of 24, Maurizio Miura's Carini had the golden opportunity to finally experience fishing in a professional context, jumping at the chance to work as an employee for a tour operator of pike fishing trips abroad. And so, after a positive conversation with the facility manager, he closed his existing job position. Maurizio packed his bags, moved to Ireland, and immediately began his apprenticeship in what he immediately realized was a true paradise. The epochal turning point to this worry came completely unexpectedly in 2008, where, thanks to a banal tidying up of the lodge's kitchen during a day off from work, Maurizio found some abandoned corks at the bottom of the cutlery drawer. To be clear, of those who cork wine bottles and become their memory. The moment he popped one in his hand, wondering whether to throw it away or keep it, the very bright deja vu connected and recognized in that unsuspecting object not only the potential bait he was looking for, but also a draft project for its realization. Having access to essential means and materials, including the fundamental deer hair left by his friend Manuel shortly before, he immediately adapted with improvisation to transform that idea into a finished product, first testing it in the river under his house in the same afternoon. It was on the next cast that the placid calm on the shore was interrupted by an explosion of water from a pike around a meter in length, which rose like a candle from the thick, grassy bottom, slashing at it with its mouth closed, almost more to chase it away than to eat it. The use of this master was thus extended to the following months in waters of various kinds, with results that left those present disconcerted every time due to the extraordinary ability to attract pikes where other baits failed. These long tests were essential to trace the official lines of the bait, replicating them on the first series, published between the end of autumn of the same year and the spring of 2009, during the winter break from work, setting up the first working space in the cellar of home in Italy. These few pieces were distributed among close friends, the other lodge guides, and some guests who had explicitly requested them previously. From this moment on, production would never stop again. Read the full article about the history of creator and creation of Miura's Mouse only on andyoriff.ro.